Hello everyone. Uh, we will solve a problem to find the total area in kilojoule for a process 1, 2, 3. As shown in figure, when the system consists of 2 kg of nitrogen. So it means mass is given 2 kg and we need to find the total work done for the process 1, 2, 3 in terms of kilojoule. There is one thing what is happening actually uh, between process 1, 2, 3. In fact, there are two processes. One process is between process 1, 2, 2 and then 2, 2, 3. So, 1, 2, 2 is expansion process in which pressure at 500 kilopascal reduces to 100 and volume is increased. Then another process happened which is at constant volume. You can see volume is not changing. So, uh, this is the second process and we need to find the work done for these two processes. First try to understand what is happening here. For example, consider might be it is a piston cylinder system. Here is the piston cylinder system. Piston is initially for example here and its initial condition is that pressure P1 is given which is 500 kilopascal at initial volume specific volume which is 0 0.5 cubic meter per kilogram so this is state 1 now what happened that expansion happens in such a way piston is moved so volume is increased for example the second case might be like that piston is moved from new position to point 2 if this is uh, for example 1 this is new 2 so now expansion is happening in such a way that pressure is reduced to new value which is 100 kilopascal and new specific volume 1 cubic meter per kilogram. This is process state 2. Then at process uh, from process 2 to 3 what happens? Piston does not change its position. It means it stays at here. But what happens? Now it cannot move and pressure is increased at constant volume how it can happen might be some heat is supplied to it due to this pressure is increased at constant volume so new pressure p3 is 400 kilo pascal and volume is at this state 3 is should be equal to state volume 2 which is 1 cubic meter per kilogram so this is actually happening so now we need to find the work done here we should know that the work done the total work done here can be for example work total work from process 1 to 2 expansion plus work done from 2 to 3 which is constant volume process so it can be represented as process 1 to 2 pressure this is classical boundary volume work formula and process 2 to 3 pressure change in volume. We know these formulas for this equation we can solve. Another way is easy way as one if we know the area under the curve it means area under the curve we can still find the total boundary work done for the same case. So this is area. So area. As we can see there are two processes 1 to 2 in pressure and volume changing in process 2 to 3 which is constant volume process this is constant volume process on curve pressure volume we can see there is no area under this curve so this when there is no change in volume work done is also zero and we can see there is no area under the curve if this curve is slightly tilted for example like that we know that there is area under this curve 
but in this case it's perfectly straight constant volume process no change in volume so this work is zero it means we are only left to find the area under the curve from process 1 to 2 only so it means we are only left to measure this entire area to find our answer in so now let's solve it as we can see here this area under the curve in essentially it is this one this this and this we can in fact uh, simplify our case by dividing into uh, two areas this oh. so this one yes two areas why because the first one here this one let it be the same black side ok so this is the area of a triangle we know it is a normally formula half base into height and this is rectangle area classical and we know that formula is equal to base into height and so it means our formula which is the we know that we need to find the area which is equal to work done we can write area of this triangle for here we can see the distance change in volume here but this is the height here for this triangle and for this rectangle this is the height so first for the area of triangle half base volume 2 minus volume 1 which is base multiplied by height which is P1 minus P2 plus the area of a rectangle which is base minus what specific volumes change multiplied by height which is P2 everything we must multiply by mass because then answer will be in kilojoule at the end we will see because specific volume is given in a cubic meter per kilogram cubic meter per kilogram so if we multiply mass we will answer on kilojoule now we can further simplify it by taking the common terms out mass is the common term out and specific volume is the common term out so we will left inside p1 minus p2 divided by 2 for the first part and p2 for the second part we can further solve it mass specific volume and this one p1 minus p2 plus 2 p2 divided by 2 and finally our final formula for this particular problem will be P1 plus P2 divided by 2. So this is the formula answer will be in kilojoule. So now place our values here and solve here we know that uh, value for uh, uh, values those are given here. mass is given 2 kilogram this is 1 minus 0 0.5 cubic meter per kilogram and pressure P1 is 500 P2 is 100 divided by 2 kilo Pascal so our final answer for all these units will be this but this is the case when we solve it we can find our answer and it will be uh, 300 kilo joule for total work done here for your convenience I can say for example how this units all these units giving me kilo joule we know uh, 
uh, mass is given in terms of kilogram cubic meter then this term it is cubic meter per kilogram final this pressure in, was given in kilopascal which we can write uh, you can say in terms of kilo newton a uh, newton meter as well pascal newton per meter square sorry pascal newton per square meter kilogram will cancel kilogram this is square this is cube this is completely cancelled by this so we will be left with kilo newton meter which is newton meter is equal to joule so joule kilo joule so our final answer is kilo joule so this is how we can solve our problem if we are given the area under the curve we can solve the problem by measuring the area under the curve as we have done in this case so that's all from my point from my side and thank you very much